What's up, nerds? We're back again with another video. And today I have the man, the myth, the legend, Chris Spider Monkey Tippins, Spider Monkey BJJ on Instagram. Go give him a follow and a shout out. Um, but today we're going to be talking about Craig Jones and some of the stuff that he plays uh, while playing the False Reaper entering into it. A lot of the game that he plays from here is actually going to be uh, based on a lot of off balances, getting them to overreact or overcompensate for you know a potential sweep, getting them to step so that we can enter uh, an attack on the legs or finish the sweep and move into a dominant position. So let's look at what he plays here first. When he's playing this, the hip's close to the foot, the elbow is over the foot. So you can see I sort of have my elbow not out here just holding on. I roll it in and pinch it to my side. You know, like you do most of the time in jiu-jitsu. I'm cupping at the, the Achilles, the base of the heel here, and biting my calf. You can see how these uh, are stacked here. And then we're gonna play the same with the other side here. So I'm going to just, you see the same order, the hand, and the leg goes over and on top of that, right? And he sort of uses this hand, uh, one, so that he can pull and get some leverage here accompanying with that hook, and then two, it sort of reinforces that hook so that it's not so easy just to stuff down. But he'll play both of them on top of each other. And the first off balance is actually gonna become from being able to uh, reach this, this foot here, right? So in the off balance, he's gonna block. When he blocks, he's stepping over into the hip, and then it's just a push-pull. You sit up, you can enter into the legs, or you can come up and detain your position, or you can step out and back. Uh, disengage after the sweep. <clears throat> so the next option is gonna come off of them reacting to that. So a lot of times when they feel something come back and behind that leg, they're gonna step to clear. So as I'm playing this here, he goes to step to clear. See how I stay sort of tight? I'm gonna imagine throwing like a heel kick or a teep straight past Chris's hip here. Right, so I'm gonna elevate and the whole left side is gonna leave. I'm not gonna stay attached and try to come up for the sweep. The whole left side is gonna leave and you see how I can sort of elevate my hips here to get across his hip. So as we do that, we're going to pull and drag and kick past the hip, right? Don't try to kick onto the hip. Don't try to push into it here. You're kicking past. So from here, everything leaves. We come up, we kick past, we pull and then we can come up pushing ourselves up into a mount or we can uh, go back into our entries on the leg here. <clears throat> then for the next option, <clears throat> playing off both of these is when we actually enter into the false reef and we enter into the legs. So playing from here, maybe I can't get that. I can't get the other off balance. So playing all this together, though, forcing him to step and react is gonna help us open this up. If you're here and you just decide to kick through like we're about to do, then it probably won't end up going your way. So see how I, I reach first, he step, then I start to elevate. See how I'm rolling up onto my shoulder, right? I'm staying tight and compact, and as I roll up, I'm going to use this arm to pull myself to him as I kick my top leg over and through the left. So here, pull nice and tight, bite with this arm, tight, and then I send everything under between his legs. As I do, I completely release. You see how my leg stepped and cleared and my hand let go to swim over the foot so that we can go straight into our attacks. <clears throat> so that's a little bit of the series that he plays off of that. And again, it's, it's relying on the off balances and uh, getting your partner to react and sometimes overcompensate or step into your traps. Uh, and that's sort of a universal concept whenever you're playing a guard. Most of the time, whenever you're, you're setting your attacks up, if you just, let's just say, uh, kicking up for a triangle, swinging out for an arm bar, if that's all you do, most of the time it's easy for them to defend. But if we can get them moving one direction or uh, basing out, posting, trying to stop something because of an off balance or a sweep or the threat of a potential attack, that makes the follow up this much easier to catch. So <clears throat> whether or not the false reap might be your game, it's still a good concept to apply to the rest of your guards and other positions in jiu-jitsu. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you do all the good stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, follow. We just passed 500 subscribers, which I appreciate so much. Thank you guys. Happy New Year's. Make sure you uh, give this guy a shout out because he teaches me all the good stuff, uh, everything that I know. Yeah, thanks. See you guys in the next one. Yeah.